With Bakula. Translated by Bhikkhu Sujato. So I have heard. At one time, Venerable Bakula was staying near Rajagaha in the bamboo grove, the squirrel's feeding ground. Then the naked ascetic Kasapa, who had been a friend of Bakula's in the lay life, approached him and exchanged greetings with him. When the greetings and polite conversation were over, he sat down to one side and said to Venerable Bakula, Reverend Bakula, how long has it been since you went forth? It's been eighty years, Reverend. But in these eighty years, how many times have you had sex? You shouldn't ask me such a question. Rather, you should ask me this. But in these eighty years, how many times have sensual perceptions ever arisen in you? But in these eighty years, how many times have sensual perceptions ever arisen in you? In these eighty years, I don't recall that any sensual perception has ever arisen in me. This, we remember, is an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula. In these eighty years, I don't recall that any perception of ill will or cruelty has ever arisen in me. This, too, we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula. In these eighty years, I don't recall that any thought of sensuality Ill will or cruelty has ever arisen in me. This too we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula. In these eighty years I don't recall accepting a robe from a householder, cutting a robe with a knife, sewing a robe with a needle, dyeing a robe, sewing a robe at Katina time, looking for robe material for my companions in the spiritual life when they are making robes, accepting an invitation, having such a thought, if only someone would invite me, sitting down inside a house, eating inside a house, getting caught up in the details of female's appearance, teaching a female, even so much as a four-line verse, going to the nuns' quarters, teaching the nuns, teaching the trainee nuns, teaching the novice nuns, giving the going forth, giving the ordination, giving dependence, being looked after by a novice, bathing in the sauna, bathing with bath powder, looking for a massage from my companions in the spiritual life, being ill even for as long as it takes to pull a cow's udder, being presented with medicine even as much as a bit of yellow marrow ballon, leaning on a headrest, preparing a cot. This too we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula, in these eighty years I don't recall commencing the rainy season residence in the neighbourhood of a village. This too we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula. Reverend, for seven days I ate the nation's alms food as a debtor. Then on the eighth day I became enlightened. This too we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula. Reverend Bakula, may I receive the going forth? the ordination in this teaching and training. And the naked ascetic Kasaba received the going forth, the ordination in this teaching and training. Not long after his ordination, Venerable Kasaba, living alone, withdrawn, diligent, keen and resolute, soon realised the supreme end of the spiritual path in this very life. He lived, having achieved with his own insight the goal for which Gentlemen rightly go forth from the lay life to homelessness. He understood. Rebirth is ended. The spiritual journey has been completed. What had to be done has been done. There is no return to any state of existence. And Venerable Kasaba became one of the perfected. Then some time later, Venerable Bakula took a key and went from dwelling to dwelling, saying, Come forth, Venerables, come forth. Today will be my final extinguishment. This too we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula. And Venerable Bakula became fully extinguished while sitting right in the middle of the Sangha. This too we remember as an incredible quality of Venerable Bakula.